Singapore is a place where culture is heavily defined by its food. And this year, the cultural trend shows a revived interest in Peranakan heritage and cuisine. Traditional chefs Baba Jolly and Madam So, both in their 80s, show us why home-cooked Peranakan food defines a great life at the Singapore Food Festival Culinary Workshop, where they share their secret recipes. That is what I'm going to share my secret to you. Life has always revolved around good home cooked food for Baba Jolly. At seven years old, he played masak masak with his friends. And later on, from working as a chef on ships and oil rigs to opening his own catering business, Baba Jolly's expertise even sent him to San Francisco as a food consultant and trainer at a Peranakan restaurant there. And at 82 years old, Baba Jolly is still going strong. You know, you look so healthy and jolly and, oh. and you know, I mean, it's, it's pranika and home-cooked food. Has mm-hmm. that made you what you are? Like a healthy, yes. healthy yes. person? That is what I'm going to share my secret to you. As we you know, mostly I don't eat outside. Mm-hmm. I always eat my home-cooked food. And I know that my father also stays the age of 80, 80 plus. Yeah. My mother also 80 plus. So I also share with, uh, I think, my, the genes with my father. And I know that uh, by eating this banana food, we stay ourselves healthy. You see, we enjoy your food, then rather eat outside. Ah, so this is a thing which I want to share everybody, that uh, you eat the spicy food, that like a garden girl, tomorrow they have a good in your health. Baba Johnny, can you tell us what is Peranakan cuisine? Is it Malay food with a twist of Chinese or Chinese food with a twist of Malay? Oh, yes, I understand what you mean. You mean that a Peranakan cuisine, whether Chinese or not, I tell you how we come become Peranakan cuisine. Actually, the Peranakan cuisine, we have a mixture of Eurasian, Malay, Chinese, uh, 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 Thai, everything. Eurasian, all combined into but we gather the, the taste, then we make into our taste. It's similar to them, but we mild, mild, not the very small spicy, not like there. We, and then we always put less oil. That's the thing which we... And once you can know the difference between the Pranakan and the Malay or the Indonesian, you can see that our thing is very, uh, very uh, light and uh, non non there's a food which our food is. Okay. In the cooking demo, you actually showed us a lot of tips on how to pr- mm. to prepare the food in a very old traditional way. Yes, right. Do you think that a lot of the modern cooking has kind of spoiled the taste of food? Do you think that the, the best food is always the traditional mm. old way of making it? You know, I what I believe, myself, as I come to the age of 82, I still do the traditional way. I don't do the method. No. That is what people like. People are looking for the old traditional. When they eat, they feel that they will have memories about their early days. So that is why I I'm joined the food festival to show them the, the real true Pranakan heritage. So this is what you can get from me. I am not the, the third generation where they cut this and cut this. Thing, and you don't get. So that is why we in our Concord restaurant, we do the origin taste, everybody go there. And I get a lot of compliments from them. They say this is the only restaurant which gives the heritage of the Brahma 2009 seems to be like the year of the of revival of Nonya culture and Peranakan cuisine. Uh-huh. You know, with like the series like Little Nonya uh-huh. and uh, the Peranakan Heritage Museum, and now the spotlight on Peranakan cuisine in the Singapore Food Festival. Um, do you think that there's a revived interest of youngsters looking for Peranakan cuisine? I believe that the the third the generation they still wants the Peranakan food. For instance, my granddaughter. She's Rana Khan. She just took, uh, joined me on the class yesterday in the food festival and she showed her interest. 
that she will never forget the, the traditional of the, the grandfather's uh, heritage. So that's good. I believe that what they want to know if they come, if they come to the restaurant to eat this heritage, you know what they say? Oh yeah, this is I never. I've been to every restaurant. It's the same. It's just like eating an ordinary food. But here is different. The environment, the way we, we express ourselves, they know it's truly Brahmin. That is what they, they are looking for. So now I believe that this is the year where they promote the Brahmin culture, and we can prove them that the Brahmin heritage still stays. It's here to stay. Up next, Baba Jolly reveals what is the most romantic Brahmin dish, and tells us why cooking for his wife of 60 years is just so fulfilling.